Thank you very much, Count Corla. Uh, Minister, the lack of trust uh, of the meat processing industry by farmers is enormous. For years now, farmers do not believe that they've been getting a fair return from the marketplace. Minister, in their mind and in the minds of a lot of people, you have failed as an independent arbitrator to put in place a regulator that would have brought some transparency to who gets what from every kilo of beef that's sold. There's a belief amongst farmers that while other players in the industry, the processors, the traders, the retailers, the hauliers, the contractors, they all get their margin and they all get paid ultimately. However, the farmer has to take the price that's given with absolutely no reference whatsoever to the cost of his or her production. Now, reality is, Minister, that that cannot be maintained. That has to change. No other aspect of Irish society operates on the basis of being a price taker, regardless of the cost. We depend so much, and so much of the livelihoods of others depend so much on the primary producer. Now people are starting to talk about the employees in the factories. They're starting to realise that there are other livelihoods who depend on the livelihoods of farmers. Well, if the farmer isn't paid, isn't able to sustain a living for his and her families, well then all the other consequences will flow from that and it will impact on many others in society. Minister, you must understand that many farmers, particularly those in the disadvantaged designated areas, are unable to finish cattle in less than 30 months without the expensive use of meals and ration to support that. There is no justification whatsoever for the 30-month rule. That must increase to 36 months without, without delay. It's a failure, absolute failure, to, 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 to most people to understand why that uh, has been allowed to continue. The issue of residency also has to be addressed. That has to be reduced to 30 days and the four, mo the, the four uh, movement rule must also be addressed. Minister, uh, if you intend to stand by and watch the dairy herd grow by a further 30 per cent in the next five years, I believe you will be standing over and be credited with the destruction of the beef farming sector. It makes no sense in terms of the impact that it will have on the beef sector, and it makes no sense whatsoever in terms of our climate change commitments. That needs to be addressed too. Thank you very much.